U.S. Climate Envoy, the former U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry contributed to the Harmony Bell Society concept to warn of the global climate crisis. On November 11, 2021, in order to issue an early warning to humanity on the issue of the global climate crisis, U.S. Climate Envoy John Kerry personally sounded Harmony Bell three times during COP26. One more. and had a brief exchange on harmony and environmental protection with Mr. Frank Liu, chairman of the World Harmony Foundation and former senior advisor to U.S. Speaker of the House, Han. Carl Albert, Dr. Susie Leggett. Stop global warming. It's time, ring harmony bell. Stop global warming. COP26 is going close today. And we, as NGO, as people of the Earth, as citizen of the planet, to protect our Earth Mother, we like this moment to ring the harmony bell. So John Kerry, Secretary John Kerry, ring bell yesterday, and to, this is a stand for we have to stay together, harmony or global, you know, proud, together to protect Earth Mother. We stop for a moment. So ring bell, okay? <laughs> known American politician who has long been committed to the issues of ocean preservation and the climate crisis. He advocates that China U.S. relations should be treated with a long-term perspective because many issues in future international affairs require cooperation and consultation between the United States and China. From April 15 to 17, 2021, China's Special Envoy for Climate Change Xie Zhenhua and the Climate Envoy Kerry held talks in Shanghai. The two sides conducted candid, in-depth, and constructive communication on issues such as cooperation on climate issues. The Leaders' Climate Summit, and the 26th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Climate Convention. They made positive progress, reached a joint statement on addressing the climate crisis, and restarted China and the United States. Channels for Climate Change Dialogue and Cooperation the two sides recognize that climate change is a serious and urgent threat to the survival and development of humanity. China and the United States would strengthen cooperation and work together with other parties to tackle the climate crisis. From August 31st to September 3rd, 2021, the Chinese side invited Envoy Kerry to visit China. During the period, China's Special Envoy for Climate Change Affairs Xie Zhenhua held talks with Kerry in Tianjin to exchange views on sino us climate change cooperation in the 26th Conference of the Parties of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Secretary Kerry's act of ringing the bell of harmony with the World Harmony Foundation and the World Peace Prize Awarding Council at the COP26 meeting can not only be regarded as Secretary Kerry's alert to people around the world on the issue of global climate change but can also be regarded as a symbolic act of alert to the global climate crisis. Relations between major powers, especially Sino-U.S. relations, have a harmonious voice in jointly addressing climate issues. During the COP26 conference and the bell ringing ceremony, Mr. Frank Liu, chairman of the World Harmony Foundation, expressed his deep gratitude to Mr. Kerry. He said, in the spirit of peace and harmony, I am very grateful to Secretary Kerry for his efforts at COP26. Chairman Frank Liu invited Secretary Kerry to ring the bell three times. In traditional Chinese culture, three means multiple. It means that ringing the bell three times represents a long and deep alert to all humanity on the issue of the climate crisis. And it also embodies the continuous sound of harmony between countries and between humanity and nature. During the interview, Frank Liu, chairman of the World Harmony Foundation, said. During the casting of the large version of the World Harmony Bell, we used spent ammunition from the military and scrap metal collected by Chinese and American students. The creation of the Great Harmony Bell incorporates people's expectations for stopping wars and achieving peace, as well as everyone's practice of harmony and environmental protection. During the Glasgow Summit, Mr. Frank Liu and partners sponsored an event highlighting the role of cities and sustainable transport, marked by the Aptura Solar Cart as well as presenting the World Harmony Foundation's Youth Council and its Secretary General, Ms. Harmony Liu, who launched a campaign to reverse the process of plastic pollution in the ocean. 
The work of the World Harmony Foundation was highlighted by the CNN Call to Earth broadcast on November 10, 2021, showing actions being taken by university students in Beijing and dialoguing with their student counterparts in Jericho, Long Island, New York. In addition, Mr. Frank Liu also told reporters that the next step for WHF is to establish a World Harmony Bell Society, with a view to donating small Harmony Bells to heads of state around the world to promote harmony in each country. Since Dr. Susie who was the chairwoman of World Peace Prize Awarding Council, UPAC, contributed a lot to peace through Harmony, Frank Liu present 2021 Harmony for Peace Awards to her. WHF and OPAC plan together go to North and South Korea 38 degree with inviting both side president come to ring Harmony Bell. It's expected that the World Harmony Foundation can make more contributions to the promotion of global ecological issues, 